Welcome to this Power Platform webinar focused on intelligent document processing with Power Automate and AI Builder. I'm Gwenelle Bago, Principal Group Program Manager for AI Builder, and I'm joined by Joe Fernandez. Joe, I'll let you introduce yourself. My name is Joe Fernandez, um, and I'm, I'm Program Manager working on, on AI Builder. I'm excited to be here today to uh, talk to you about how you can use uh, AI very easily within the Power Platform. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. So yeah, as Joe mentioned, uh, today we're going to show you how you can use Power Automate and AI Builder together to automate document processing in your company, allowing you to reduce the risk of errors, process document faster, and increase overall employee productivity. We'll be covering five different talking points in this session. Uh, so first, we'll give you an overview of what we call intelligent automation, recapping the different sets of AI-driven scenarios that you can automate with AI Builder. Uh, we'll also show you intelligent document processing landscape, so that you can understand the types of documents that you can process with our technology. Next, we'll show you the different features that are supported today and walk you through how to create your own custom document processing model. We'll also show you how you can use your model in an end-to-end -end process with our document automation solution. And finally, we'll go over some common use cases for document processing and recap the benefits that you can generate by automating a process. All right, let's kick things off by going through an overview of intelligent automation. Now, intelligent automation can generate incredible benefits in your company. It fuels increased productivity, cost reduction, greater accuracy in business processes, with the end goal of providing higher increases in revenue over time. Now, we think of intelligent automation as a combination of automation technologies infused with artificial intelligence, allowing you to automate complex processes end to end. At Microsoft, our one intelligent automation platform is Power Automate. It brings together cloud-first automation with multiple core capabilities to create a comprehensive and connected hyper-automation platform. It includes such capabilities as robotic process automation, or RPA, which is UI-based automation to automate activities on your desktop with desktop flows. It also includes artificial intelligence or AI-driven capabilities like intelligent document processing that we'll be focusing on today. It includes digital process automation, or DPA, to automate cloud-based processes across native and third-party apps using the connectors uh, ecosystem. It includes business process management to automate guided multi-step processes, managing everything from basic approval processes to advanced workflows using RPA and DPA. And finally, it also includes Process Advisor, which is a new process mining capability that helps you to understand and analyze bottlenecks in your business processes so that you can improve them using automation. Now, today's focus is on AI and AI capabilities specifically. So let's zoom, zoom in to our AI uh, capabilities uh, that are available with AI Builder. Now, today, AI Builder allows you to automate intelligent processes across four different types of scenarios. The first one is documents, uh, which allows you to extract and process content from multiple different document types. Uh, documents such as invoices, receipts, forms, or identity documents. The second category of scenarios that we support is language, which allows you to translate, transform, and extract key information or sentiment from unstructured text. Third category is images, to detect objects in images and classify them. And the fourth category is decision, to protect new values in structured data that are based off of, his of historical outcomes. Now with AI Builder, all of these scenarios can be built without code using point and click wizards in just a matter of minutes. And its backend, AI Builder leverages industry leading AI technology uh, that is backed by Azure Cognitive Services. And all those technologies and models are customizable to your company's specific needs. AI Builder is also directly integrated in the Power Platform so that you can easily add in AI driven actions into your Power Apps and into your Power Automate flows. So now that we've covered the high level overview of intelligent automation, let's dive into intelligent document processing specifically and describe that functionality in a little bit more detail. Intelligent document processing is a software solution that captures and transforms data from documents in an end-to-end -end process. Multiple different input formats are supported like emails, uh, text, PDF, or scan documents. And IDP uses multiple different AI technologies together, such as computer vision, OCR, natural language processing, machine learning, and deep learning. All these technologies are used in combination so that the AI model can understand the context of a document and so that it can analyze, categorize, and transform its content, 
allowing you to export its data to external systems and to truly build an end-to-end -end process. IDP can also understand a wide range of document layouts, anything from structured documents, such as forms, invoices, receipts, identity documents, or unstructured documents, things like memos, contracts, or customer feedback requests. Now, it's no secret that documents are still widely used across the business landscape. There are multiple functions and industries that rely on standard document types to manage everyday tasks. Some common examples include invoice processing and purchase orders in the finance department, quality assurance or change requests in manufacturing, proof of delivery in supply chain, or application forms in the government space. Many departments across these functions rely on workers to manually process information from these forms and generate an outcome that is stored in a centralized system. Imagine if all the time that could be saved if these documents could automatically process themselves and generate the outcomes that you would want without the need for human intervention. Now, with IDP technology, this is all possible, and uh, together with Joe, we're going to show you how. Let's deep dive on the technology for a little bit. Uh, now, with traditional OCR technology, it's possible to transcribe a document, but then you need to set up complex rules uh, to write and interpret and extract the data that you need, which makes it hard to automate a document in an end-to-end -end process. IDP technology is uh, a little bit more complex. It's not just simple OCR. It actually leverages a deep learning AI model that's trained to understand the structure of the document and to return only in the information that you need from that document. It can understand specific fields like an invoice date or an invoice number. It can understand complex tables that are used to store information. And it can even understand specific fields like a checkbox. In this next section, let's go through how you can build your own AI model to automate document processing with our easy to use point and click solution. Now remember, just because it's easy to use, it doesn't mean that it isn't powerful. All of our AI builder models that are generated through an easy point and click wizard end up generating a powerful Azure AI model in the back end with the same level of security and reliability that you'd expect from integrating directly through Azure AI developer APIs. In terms of the different types of models that are available, there are two different types of uh, categories of models that you can leverage for document processing. The first one is pre-built models. And the second one is custom models. Now, pre-built models are already pre-trained by Azure AI and they work out of the box. They're able to read standard document formats like invoices, receipts, identity documents, or business cards. On the other hand, there are custom models. Let's say you want to process a specific document type, a specific form that is unique to your business function or that is unique to your supplier. In this case, you'll want to train a custom model to understand that specific document structure and extract only the specific fields that you care about. So to recap, there's essentially three types of models that you can use in AI Builder to process documents. There's Text Recognizer, which is the generic OCR model that we talked about. You can use that model to extract text from the document and then use any of our language models to analyze that content and transform it. There's also uh, our set of enriched pre-built models uh, used to extract uh, data from an invoice, a receipt, or an identity document. And then finally, we have our custom models, our custom form processing models that you can use uh, to uh, train an AI model to understand a specific document format that is unique to your business function or to your supplier. Let's take a look at custom model features. Um, what you're able to do when you uh, want to set up a custom model is train it to understand only specific fields that you want to extract. It's all quite easy. There is a point and click wizard. What you have to do is you have to detect the specific fields in the document that you want to extract, uh, draw uh, a specific uh, table around those uh, documents, and then you're able to extract the content and determine only the specific content that you want from the document. And Joe's going to walk you through that process in a demo in a little bit. In terms of features, we also support different document layouts. Let's say you have a process with multiple suppliers that each have a different specific layout. We have a concept of collections that we can use during the model training time. With that concept, you'll want to group specific documents that have the same layout into a given collection. This allows you to train a single model that's able to understand a wide range of specific different document types, mapping to all the different specific needs of your different uh, business functions or specific needs of your suppliers. Finally, languages is an important feature. We've just released an update in AI Builder that allows you to 
support a wide range of languages uh, with form processing. There's actually over 70 different types of languages that are supported, making it easy, easy to set up an intelligent document processing flow across a, a wide variety uh, of languages and regions. So there you have it. Uh, that was the set of features that are currently supported uh, through the custom uh, form processing model. But enough talking, let's see this model in action. I'll hand it over to you, Joe, to show us how you can build our very own custom form processing model using AI Builder. Thank you, Guadal. So yes, let me switch back to my computer and see how easy it is to uh, use AI and Pro Automate to, to automate a process. Uh, so here for this demo, let's imagine the following scenario. I receive every month invoices like this. I receive hundreds of them. And every time I receive an invoice, I need to transcribe its information from the invoice into an Excel file and then into an old legacy website. And this is a process that takes me significant time every month. It's a very repetitive process, a very boring process, and I'd rather do something more productive than just copying and pasting data from one place to another. So let's see how we can use AI Builder and Power Automate to automate this, this process. So I'm here in the AI Builder website, which is accessible from the Power Automate portal. You will find it on the left navigation bar, AI Builder. And here we see all the different AI capabilities that we've seen in this presentation. And the top, we'll see the models that are customizable. These are models where you can bring your own data and tailor it to your needs. And here in this section, we see all the pre-built models. So these are models that are already trained, and you can use them right away into your automations and applications. We see that there's one pre-built for invoice. So let's click on it. And every time we click on one of these styles, we get the same experience. We get an introduction on the model to learn what it does. And we also get a useful try it out section where we can see some samples to get an idea of what the model is able to do. And I can even go ahead and upload my own invoices to try it out. So here I have one of the invoices that I receive, receive every month. Let's see what uh, AI Builder is able to do. All right, we see that it's able to extract already a good amount of information. Things we can expect like the total amounts, the invoice ID, the different addresses. It even does uh, line items, so tables in invoices. Uh, so everything's looking good. But one of the fields I need into my process is the shipping amount. And I see that as of today, the pre-built invoice processing model is not extracting this field, but that is not an issue. What I can go ahead is just move and create my own custom form processing model. So let's do that. Let's go into the custom section and create our form processing model. I'm going to click on it. And the first step is just to give it a name. So let's call it, for example, webinar demo. And click create. And this takes me into a step-by-step -step guided experience that is going to help me train and build my own custom model. The first step on this experience is to define which fields and tables I want to extract. So if we go back to the Excel file, these are all the different uh, fields from the invoice that I need to extract. So let's just define them in this step. So I'm here back into the model. I'm going to click Add. And here I can extract fields and tables. In this case, I only need fields. So I'm going to click Field, Next. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. So the first field we want to extract is the invoice ID. And I do the same. I just go ahead and define the different fields I want to extract. So the second one will be the subtotal amount. Then I also want the tax amount. Of course, we wanted the shipping amount, which was the one not supported by the pre-built. Total amount of the invoice. The due date. And last, the bill to address. All right, so I've defined the seven fields I want to extract. Let's move on to the next step. And in this second step, I need to upload sample documents to teach my model how to extract the information I want. And the way we, we upload documents is through collection. And collection is a grouping of documents that have the same template or the same layout. For this demo, we're using invoices from two different providers that they have two different layouts, as we can see here. So let's go ahead and create two collections. I'm going to create the first collection. 
And for each collection, I need to upload at least five sample, five sample documents. I can upload them from my local device, from a SharePoint site, or from an Azure Blob Storage account. For this demo, I'm going to upload them from my local device. And here I have five sample documents for my four first provider. All right, five documents uploaded. I can also give it a, a name so it's easier to reference. So this is going to be the invoices from the Contoso provider. And let's go ahead and create our second collection. And here again, I need to upload five sample documents for this provider. So here I have them. Let's upload them. And they have been uploaded as well. I'm also going to give it a, a name. In this case, it's the Adatum provider. OK, so we've uploaded, we've created two collections, and we've uploaded five sample documents for each one of the collections. Let's move to the next step. Now AI Builder is looking through those documents to understand the structure, and that will help me build the model. Great, so the analysis is now complete, and now I see the sample documents that I've uploaded. So if I click on them, what I have to do now is I have here the fields that I want the model to extract. I need to indicate where are those fields, so that way the model is going to learn which where, where they are. So let's go ahead and start. So to indicate, it's very simple. I just draw a rectangle around each of the fields and indicate to which field it corresponds to. So in this case, this is the invoice ID. Let's go for the next one. So the subtotal is here. So again, I draw here a rectangle and indicate that it is the subtotal. And I'm going to do the same for the remaining of the fields. The tax amount, the shipping amount, the total amount, the due date is here. And last, the build to address. All right, we've tagged our first document. Let's go ahead and move to the second document. And here I'm going to do the same process. Some of the fields are already tagged because we had that analysis process, and AI Builder already understands a little bit our structure. So I just have to tag those fields that are remaining. So in this case, the total amount, the tax amount, the shipping total, and the build to address. So very easily, I can uh, tag these documents. So I will do this tagging process for all the sample documents that I have uploaded. Once I've done that, I can move to the next step where I can go ahead and train my model. And once I train my model, I will land into this page. I've already trained a model with the same sample files and the same uh, fields, and it's ready to be used. What we recommend first is to try it out. So here we have a test function where we can go ahead and try it out with samples that we did not use for training. So let's go ahead, for example, and use this invoice, which we did not use for training, to see what is the performance of a model. So here we see that it's able to extract all the fields that we wanted, including that shipping amount that we also wanted, and we also get the confidence score. And we see that confidence score is 99%. It's very good. So we can go ahead and use it. If that was not the case, if we were not getting good results or the confidence score was low, I can always edit the model and add more samples to improve the model. But in this case, we're ready to go. So let's click ahead and click on Use Model. And I can use my model in two ways. I can use it in a flow in Power Automate or in an app in Power Apps. In this case, because we want to automate a process, which is I want to write the data into an Excel file, and then I want to input it into a legacy website, we're going to go ahead and build a flow in Power Automate for this. So I'm going to click a new flow. And this takes me to a sample template to get started. So let's create this template. And what I have here is an end-to-end -end flow that is ready to, to go. The way it works is this flow is going to get triggered every time I send an email with an attachment and the subject AI Builder. Then it's going to iterate through different attachments that I have. 
and it's going to run it through the form privacy model that we just trained. It's going to extract the data and it's going to send me the data back in an email. So very simple flow, but right away I can try it out and then I can customize it. So that's what I done. I went ahead and I customized the flow to what I want to do here. So the trigger is the same. I receive the invoices by email, so that stays the same. I iterate through the attachments. I run each attachment through the form privacy model that we train. And then once the data is extracted, we're going to add them into the Excel file here. And then for the legacy website, since there's no API connectivity, what I've done is I've built an RPA bot using ProAutomate Desktop that replicates what I usually do when I enter the data into the website. So let's see this in action. Let's put the flow in test mode. OK, so now to see the flow work, I need to send an email into my inbox. So let's do that. I'm here in my inbox. I'm going to create a new message. I'm going to send the message to me. And the subject line is going to be a builder for the flow to trigger. And I'm going to attach one invoice. OK, let's send the email. The email has arrived, so now at any moment, the flow will get triggered. So now that the flow has been triggered, it's taking the attachment, it's running the attachment through the form processing model, and then the data is going to be entered into Excel. So if we go into the Excel file, we should see the data being entered. Perfect. And then the next step is an RPA bot entering the data. So let me switch to a VM. And here we see that the RPA bot is entering the data into this virtual machine uh, without me having to do anything. So that's the demo. We've seen how in a matter of minutes, we've been able to train a custom AI model to extract data that we wanted from invoices. And then using Power Automate, we've been able to automate the process of entering that data into Excel. And then with an RPA bot to enter the data into a legacy website very easily. As you saw, there was no single line of code, no need to do any complex machine learning operation. It's that easy, and that is the power of the, of the platform. Back to you, Bueno. Awesome, thanks, Joe. It was really uh, great to see how you were able to not only create that custom model uh, to detect that specific field uh, that you wanted in your document, but you also were able to, uh, leveraging Power Automate templates, uh, already create uh, the premise of that end-to-end -end process uh, to fully automate uh, that document uh, processing solution. So that, that's great. Um, in this next section, I wanted to highlight uh, another solution that we built uh, to help uh, users build out that end-to-end -end process. Now, Joe showed us that there are already a set of templates, Power Automate templates uh, that can be used and that can be actioned uh, straight from the models page uh, after the model is trained. Another concept that we've built is a full document automation solution. Uh, that already has a certain amount of the elements that Joe showed already pre-configured uh, so that you can just take that solution, you can tailor it to your specific needs uh, that are in your company, and you can build that end-to-end -end process uh, to automate uh, how uh, uh, documents are handled in your company. So uh, let's walk through basically the process of document automation and the different components that are included. Uh, now, the first one that Joe showed in his prior demo is the ability to monitor a specific mailbox uh, to check when you receive new documents that you want to process. Uh, now, using a set of either pre-built models or custom trained models, you can then extract the information from the documents from the e email attachments. Now, the document automation solution also gives you the ability to have a bit more complex validation processes. Maybe in some cases, uh, when you're extracting the content, you want to verify that the content is accurate, that it actually maps to data that is stored in a database, for example, or maybe there are specific validation rules that you want to set up. Maybe if an invoice uh, is over a certain limit, you want a certain uh, approval from a, a specific approver uh, before you're able to process that invoice. Uh, maybe you also want to check the accuracy of the different fields. So for that, what we did is we pre-configured a validation station uh, that is built as a power app that's already included in this document automation solution uh, that allows you to verify the content uh, that is extracted from the automated process, and you can approve, validate uh, that selection 
or you can choose to send it uh, over uh, for another maybe more complex approval process. That's already built in as part of the solution. And then finally, there's a set of uh, extraction export possibilities that are already pre-configured in the document automation solution. And there's also monitoring tools that are able to enable you to monitor how effective and how many documents you've been able to process. All right, so there you have it for an end-to-end -end document automation flow. Uh, next, we're going to see another demo uh, with Joe, who's going to walk us through how we can set up the document automation solution, our starter kit to help you uh, set up an end-to-end -end process uh, for intelligent document processing. Joe's going to show you how to configure that and how to customize it for your own specific custom needs. Over to you, Joe. Thank you, Guadal. Let me show you how easy it is to set up document automation and set up that end-to-end -end intelligent document processing uh, that we want. So yes, for this second demo, we're going to see how we can leverage the form processing model that we trained in the previous demo with the document automation solution to set up that end-to-end -end process that is going to be able to process attachments that come through email. It's going to extract the data using the form processing model. We're going to be able to review the data in a validation station. And once validated, those data are stored in a database table that I can then export to any system of my choice. So I have here my model. Let's go now to document automation. Document automation, you will find it on the AI Builder section within the Product Mate portal here. So let's click on it. And here on the page, we see information about the solution, as well as some helpful links to documentation and tutorials to get started. The first time that you will enter this page, you will see an install button. You just have to click on it. And in a matter of minutes, you will have the solution installed. The only thing that we're going to ask you is the Mailbox account you want to use for the solution. In this case, for this demo, I've already installed the solution. And now the next step is to open the application. And this is the application one where I'm going to be able to see the different documents that are being processed. But first, I need to configure to use the form policy model I wanted to use. So I'm going to go into the configuration section. I'm going to click here. And here I see all the different form policy models that I've trained in my environment. I'm going to click this one. Next. And here I see the different fields that this model is able to extract. I confirm that this is what I want. Perfect. Save. And that's it. That's how easy it is to configure document automation. So now I have set up an end-to-end -end process where every time I send an, uh, an email with attachments to a specific inbox, inbox it's going to be able to extract the data, show it in this application. So let's see it in action. Let me go back to my inbox and let's send the, let me send me an email. Again, here I've configured to uh, trigger the process when I send an email with the subject line AI Builder, and I'm going to attach some invoices. So let's attach this one, and let's attach another uh, second one from a different provider. Send. So now I received the email. So now document automation should be picking up that attachment, extracting the data with the form policy model that we train, and we should be seeing the documents appear here in any minute. Okay, so the documents have been processed, and now the status are in manual review. So I need to go ahead and, and review them. So I'm going to click on each of the documents. And what I get is a side-by-side -side viewer where on the left, I see the document that has been processed, and on the right, the data that has, has been extracted with the AI Builder. So I see that every data has been extracted correctly. I only get here a warning for the shipping amount, but in this case, this invoice doesn't have a shipping amount. So I can validate it as a good, uh, good extraction. And let's go do the same thing for the second invoice. Here again, I see that everything has been extracted correctly. If there was some issue, I could always modify it, of course, but in this case, everything is, is looking good. So let me go ahead and validate, validate it as well. All right, we validated the documents, and now these appear in a table in Dataverse. So all this extracted data is here stored safely and structuredly in Dataverse, 
And now I can decide to export the data in any system of my choice. And the great thing about document automation is that it's a driver solution. So I can customize it to I can customize any of the components to any of my needs. So these are the different components. So I could customize, for example, the validation station to with my company branding, for example, if I wanted to. I can also customize different cloud flows that orchestrate the process of extracting the data from the attachments to the validation rules. Everything is fully customizable. And, and that's the, the great thing about, uh, about the solution that we provide. So that's the demo. So we've seen how with a form policy model, we can install with two clicks the document automation solution, which provide us an end-to-end -end intelligent document automation process, very easy to install and very easy to customize. Back to you, Gwen. Thank you, Joe, for another great demo. Uh, to recap what we've seen, you've shown us how we can customize an AI builder form processing model uh, to be able to process a specific document type. You've shown us how to include that into an end-to-end -end process using a template. And then you've showed us how to also install and configure the document automation solution, which is a complete end-to-end -end solution that allows you also to verify the information that is extracted from documents using the validation station. That really is a complete end-to-end -end solution to process documents. Now that we've seen how our solution works, let's go over some common use cases in the enterprise and some typical benefits that you can get from integrating this intelligent document processing solution in your company. Now, we've already seen at the start of this presentation that there were a number of documents that are used across different functions and different industries. Here, I've highlighted four common use cases that we see a lot across financial uh, services to handle an account payable automated process, uh, for government uh, to manage application forms, for healthcare to manage medical results forms, and for energy to manage production reports. Now, these are typical uh, processes that include documents. Um, I think what's important now is that you look at your company, the different uh, functions that are using documents in the end-to-end -end processes, and figure out how you can automate those using the solutions that we presented. Now let's go through the process again, which is similar to what we saw already for the document automation solution, but just specific to accounts payable. Uh, as you'll see in a typical AP process, you'll have different vendors that are going to send invoices that'll all have different formats to a central mailbox. So what you would have to do is train a custom form processing model with different collections that map to all the different types of documents coming from your suppliers. Uh, you would have to configure or tweak uh, a standard Power Automate flow to monitor the mailbox, and then to point to the custom trained AI builder model that you set up. Uh, then what you have to do is set up maybe some validation rules, either using the document automation solution that you were presented or maybe there's more uh, specific or complex rules that you want to set up. Maybe you want to verify that um, the uh, amounts of the different documents that were extracted actually map to fields that you have already stored elsewhere. Maybe you want to check, cross-check that with the database that you have. Uh, all of that is possible using the connectors ecosystem of Power Automate that has over 500 connectors that you can use to communicate with a wide variety of different systems. Uh, so that process should be fairly easy uh, leveraging Power Automate. And then finally, uh, you can choose to uh, take the data uh, and then extract it and uh, to any of your uh, systems like an ERP to really complete that end-to-end -end process. And by setting up that automated process, there's lots of benefits that you can have. Let's say your company that typically processes maybe 5,000 invoices in a given month. Uh, that takes probably on the low end maybe three minutes uh, for a person to actually read through that invoice, extract the information, log into the system, and then uh, and then type in that value in the system. If you're able to fully automate that process end to end uh, uh, using Power Automate and AI Builder, uh, you can save maybe up to 250 hours a month. That's over six work weeks uh, that you'll that you'll be able to save. So. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, a good return on investment here for sure. Uh, and uh, the idea behind all this solution is that uh, you can stop focusing on routine tasks uh, by automating these tasks. There's lots of benefits that you can have. Uh, first of all, faster processing time, uh, obviously uh, reduce processing errors. Uh, when we when we look at documents um, by hand manually and we uh, and we supply the information into a system, there's high possibility of human error. So we can remove all that through automated extraction. 
And then, of course, improved employee productivity. Uh, we can go focus not on these uh, uh, routine tasks, but on 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 uh, more interesting uh, tasks that require our human intelligence. Uh, so that's kind of an overview of all the benefits that you'll get from this solution. Uh, in conclusion, uh, we hope that we've given you a complete overview of how to automate document processing with AI Builder and, and Power Automate. All you need to do next is think of the different types of documents that exist in your company to run everyday processes and how you can generate cost savings by automating those tasks. Now, there are a number of resources here uh, that I've outlined to help you get started. Uh, you can look at an overview of AI Builder, of the document automation solution that Joe presented. There's different learning courses uh, where you can review again all this content and guide you step by step into setting up your own first uh, custom form processing model or configuring the document automation solution. And then finally, we have other tutorials and resources to explain uh, to you how to set up uh, AI Builder and all of the details that you need to know about AI Builder licensing. I'd like to thank you once again. I hope you've enjoyed this webinar. Thank you again very much, Joe, uh, for the incredible demo. And we hope to see you soon with Power Automate and AI Builder.